Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. Today is a slightly different video. Instead of going for just one day, I'm actually going to be going for 24 hours. Yes, I'm spending 24 hours on a small set of islands called the Faroe Islands in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, very difficult journey to get there uh, because from the UK you have to change to Copenhagen and Copenhagen up to the Faroe Islands. Um, so you have to practically go back past the UK again, but that is a general route into there from the UK, as so that's the route I took. Um, and I'll fly with a new airline I've not flown with before, Atlantic Airways, they're a Faroese operator. Um, but all in all, their service is actually pretty good compared to some of the other flag carriers. So yeah, so that's my journey I'll be taking you on today. Uh, I've got a lot of things to show you. So I'm not going to uh, keep you too long on the introduction, but I'll now leave you with some facts about the Faroe Islands, and I'll join you at the end with some costing details. I'll see you then. Let's get started, shall we? The Faroe Islands is a self-governing country and is part of the Kingdom of Denmark. It consists of 18 rocky volcanic islands between Iceland and Norway in the North Atlantic Ocean and is just northeast of the Shetland Islands of the United Kingdom. Since 1948, the Faroe Islands have a self-governing status of the Kingdom of Denmark. Faroese is the official language and their flag is recognised by Denmark. However, when Denmark joined the European Union, the islands refused to join due to the fishing limits, which they heavily depend on, resulting in this unique situation where a part of a country is in the EU, whereas the other part is not. This issue also causes confusion and issues at the border points when travellers think they can visit the islands with the same visa they have for Denmark, despite this actually not being the case. A separate visa is required for the Faroe Islands. Considering its northerly location, the Faroe Islands are quite temperate in the winter months. In fact, they are the warmest out of all the Nordic countries, hovering above freezing for most of the day. However, it also means it has cold summers, where most Nordic countries reach an average 20 or more degrees Celsius in the Faroe Islands, they rarely get above 11 degrees Celsius. It is actually one of the rainiest places in the world. It rains 280 days a year, but don't let it put you off as it is often short rainfalls and do not affect the entire islands at the same time. The weather here can change rapidly. There is a popular saying amongst the Faroese people which states, if the weather doesn't suit you, just wait another 5 minutes. British troops occupied the Faroe Islands in 1940 under what was known as Operation Valentine when Nazi Germany invaded Denmark. The occupation was a preemptive friendly measure to ensure German troops would not have a base in the North Atlantic Ocean and lasted for just five years. In 1945, the British left, leaving behind the popular dairy milk chocolate, which is rarely stopped on mainland Denmark. And they also left behind the runway in Fagar, as well as 170 soldiers who had local Faroese marriages. The English influence can still be felt in the islands today, especially what is sold in the local supermarkets and the majority of Faroese being able to speak English. The Faroese also love fish and chips, the same as us here in the UK. The islands is one of the world's leading nations in producing sustainable electricity with over 50% of their electricity coming from renewable energy sources. The government's aim is that by 2030 all the nation's electricity will be sourced by renewable energy. Many houses in the Faroe Islands have grass roofs. Interestingly, sheep are used for mowing the grass, not conventional mowing machines. It is very, very safe within the Faroe Islands like nowhere else. The Faroese people are not afraid to leave valuables in their car and they even leave their houses unlocked. No one steals because they won't get far anyway. Faroese company Backerfrost is the 8th largest salmon farming company in the world.
If you want to get hold of the Prime Minister, just look in the phone book. Yes, you heard me right. The Prime Minister's phone number is listed in the phone book for all to see. There is no prison in the Faroe Islands. Prisoners being held for more than a year are sent to prisons in Denmark. There are a total of five traffic lights in the whole of the country and all are within the capital area. There are only two international fast food outlets in the Faroe Islands which are Burger King and Sunset Boulevard. The buses in the capital Torshifen are free for everyone thanks to heavy subsidy of the government. But their support does not end there. Helicopters serving the remote islands are heavily subsidised for everyone including tourists. However, it is important to note that helicopters are a lifeline for many of the islanders so they should not be abused. The Faroese government advises tourists to book one way on the helicopters wherever possible. The only trees you will find in the islands are artificially planted ones as it's hard for trees to survive the battle against the climatic conditions here. In recent years, the northern lights have become an obsession with travellers and photographers alike. As they are mostly seen within the areas closest to the North and South Poles, Iceland and the rest of the Nordic countries are prime targets. However, did you know that you can also see them here in the Faroe Islands? Depending on the weather and the clouds as they generally float low in the sky, but the islands are within range and they are often seen due to the remoteness of the islands, which makes it easier for them to be spotted. Finally, there is only one restaurant on the island which has a Michelin star. The restaurant named Coke has the title. For a good sized dish, it costs around 1,400 Danish kroner, which equates in pounds to 160 pounds and 62 pence just for one dish. Hey guys, and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. I'm Matthew Smith. And today you will be seeing an awesome adventure. I'm actually going to the Faroe Islands, uh, which is quite an adventure in itself. And it cost me a lot of money. Uh, and I'll be departing from London Heathrow. I'm currently at Gatwick to get the coach to Heathrow, so I'm returning to Gatwick later. And then when I'm uh, at Heathrow, I'm flying into Copenhagen, which is the normal route to get to Faroe Islands from here in the UK. So we're going to Copenhagen to change with it to Atlantic Airways. Now, Atlantic Airways is a Faroese company. They're based in the Faroe Island, um, and they fly two times a day to and from Copenhagen. So that's where I'm changing. We've got about three hours in Copenhagen before heading off to Vega, which is the air only airport in the Faroe Islands. And today is an unusual one. Normally, I go there and back in one day. Today, I can't do that because, well, it's impossible to get to Faroe Islands back with the limited flights in one day. So today, I'll be actually staying in a hotel tonight. I'll be spending 24 hours out in the Faroe Islands, arriving at 20, about quarter to two this afternoon and departing tomorrow at 1.40. So they're about 24 hours over there. Now, I know some of you will be very new viewers uh, to my channel because this time it's 24 hours where normally it's just a day. Uh, so for those of you that uh, don't know the process of my videos, you will be seeing everything from start to finish, so including my travel to the Vow Islands from here in the UK. If you I don't want to see that. You can skip it by all means. So you go straight to Faroe Islands and see what that has to offer. But I'll be showing it right from the beginning. Um, as I know, there will be a lot of new viewers because, well, uh, I'm going for 24 hours instead of just one day where I don't really see much. Um, I'll just go there, look at the sites and come back. Uh, today, however, I'm going to be looking at a lot more sites and spending a lot more time. Uh, anyway... Uh, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to leave you to it and I shall get back to you when I'm at Heathrow. So I'm going to be getting the coach from here at Gatwick to Heathrow. Uh, and then, yeah, my flight departs at 6.45 this morning. I shall leave you there and I'll see you later on.
and welcome to Heathrow Terminal 5 after security. Uh, it's currently time 4.55. Um, I've liked to pass at 6.45, so I've got just under two hours here uh, to hang about. Um, but, um, yeah, so I'm now going to be getting a British Airways flight from here at Terminal 5 to Copenhagen Castrop Airport. Um, whilst I'm in Copenhagen, I've got about... I think it's like two or three hours uh, to change flights um, to get me up to the Faroe Islands. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether I have to actually uh, go through Passport Journal and re-enter through security, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'll have to do. I'll find out when I uh, get to Copenhagen now, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'll have to do. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But, yeah, so uh, I've got a bit of wait now, and I'll join you when I'm in Copenhagen. So guys, apparently there's no flights today. Fake <coughs> uh, information screens. There's no flights today apparently here in Heathrow. Um, this is always a good start. Um, I'm only joking, of course. That part of the screen's not actually working. All the other ones are. Um, but yeah. So the answer to that question is yes, I have to leave the airport and go through passport control to go back through security. Landed 15 minutes early uh, into here at Copenhagen. I'm now in the main um, terminal building. I need to go back through security for my flight at 12.25, um, which will take me to Fagar in the Faroe Islands. about a two-hour flight from here in Copenhagen. Um, but... Yeah, so uh, I've got to do that now. Um, flight's on time uh, at the moment, which is always good. Um, and then I shall join you after security here at Copenhagen. from behind security here at Copenhagen Airport. My gate's just been announced an hour and a half early. Um, it's during the about an hour early. It gives an hour a turn around. It don't need it, mind you. I've got to take the parts early. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I'm now I've got a little bit of a wait uh, for my flight um, to take me to Vega. Uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be a different experience and the scenery's going to be nice or uh, as long as the weather's on my side I don't really care um anyway I shall see you when I uh, get to the Faroe Islands see you then <laughs>
Faroe Islands. Uh, nice and beautiful scenery, actually. Um, or a wee bit of snow on the mountains there. I'm currently waiting for the bus from the airport, which is at 2.25, so in about 15 minutes. I can't actually wait. Uh, the landing, uh, the airport's quite small, so brakes slammed on and everyone jumped forward. Um, but we landed about five minutes late in total. Um, but yeah, the uh, scenery looks amazing from here, so I can't wait to see what Elsie Flower Island has to offer for today. Um, just wait for the bus to turn up first, uh, and then I shall be off to the capital of the Flower Islands, Torshaven. See you then. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand Somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free with me What we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts which is the capital of the Faroe Islands. Um, currently just arrived, uh, so the main bus and coach terminal uh, is actually at the ferry uh, terminal, uh, which is a short five minute walk uh, to the main centre. So I'm just going to currently take a walk to get to the centre. Um, it's currently two degrees here, uh, so uh, remained of some snow from when uh, they did have obviously some snow under at some point. Um, but yeah, so I'm now walking to the centre uh, and then I've got about 45 minutes to my bus to get me to the hotel. So hello guys, I'm now in a, a town called Runevik. Um, my hotel is just behind me, and where I'll be staying for tonight, called Hotel Runevik. This hotel here. Uh, let's go in and see what it's like. So I've just arrived at uh, Hotel Runevik, arrived into my room, and this is the view out of my window. I've got the view of the harbour there, as you can see, there you go, got some boats down there for you to look at. And we've got um, the mountains there. So this is my view at my uh, bedroom window in the hotel. Uh, so not actually that bad. And I'm the only guest staying here tonight. Um, I've been told they've upgraded me from a single room to a double room. Yeah, I've got a double bed now. Uh, so away from the views, so we have a look, shall we? 
So this is my uh, double bed here. Just need to make up the sheets and all that. That's just not a bad size. If I stand over here, you can see it's not actually a bad sized room. Um, and I've got a nice picture of a, a penguin artwork up there. Got a picture there behind the bed. We do have a TV as well. Um, not much English shows though, mind you. Um, it's all in their uh, language. A nice plant finishing touch there. Um, you know, I'll just take you round here so I can find the light switch. Oh, yep, I'll find the light switch. I think this is the light. This is the uh, toilet here. We've got a nice walk in shower. It's not actually that bad. There we go. Nice, but not being under there. Oh, and there's there. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. The one thing they did tell me is that staff go home at 9 pm and I'm all by myself overnight. Um, it's just going to be fun. So, yeah, so this is my room for the night. <laughs> And a very good morning everyone and today um, this is the plan at quarter past eight I'll be getting the bus back to the capital Torsopin got about 40 minutes there before getting the bus back to the airport then I've got about three hours before my flight explore the airport see what's there and then I'll be off back to Copenhagen four hours in Copenhagen before my easy trip to London Gatwick this evening so that's the plan tonight and um, once again very good morning everyone uh, nice to have got again since I woke up this morning this is your out my window um, yeah, so I'll uh, join you later on. <laughs> I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the Hello guys and welcome back to Capital Torshofen I just got my breakfast from the supermarket here And now I'm off to the bus station I've got about half an hour here for the bus to the airport My time's slowly coming to end here in the Faroe Islands But I am enjoying it uh, It's a nice little uh, island actually um and very scenic indeed um i shall join you when i get back to the airport probably i won't stop it is my time because mm -hmm. i know what it's like to be broke i know what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is grey or blue I don't care cause I am on my way up And I won't stop, I won't slow down 
standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Cause I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Hello guys, I'm our time and our news have come to an end. I'm currently here back at Fagar Airport. Um, I've got about three hours very far to my flight but to Copenhagen. I was in Copenhagen four hours there before my flight back to London Gatwick. So yeah, my time in the Faroe Islands is coming to an end. And this beautiful scenery will be leaving me behind very shortly. I'll see you soon. Hello guys and welcome back to mainland Denmark. I'm at Copenhagen Airport landed about 20 minutes early. We took off bang on time. Um, so I've got just under four hours here before my transfer to EasyJet back to London Gatwick. Um, I, as I've got just under four hours, I am actually uh, going to get the train into this main city centre today. Um, and uh, back again uh, just to see what city's like here. And then I'll be returning later for my flight. Join you later on.
guys, as you would have guessed, I'm now in uh, the centre. Um, I've had my McDonald's. God, I missed that for the last couple of days. Not been at have access to my lovely McDonald's. I can't live without it. But yes, I'm now uh, in the centre, uh, city centre, by Central Train Station. I've got about an hour here before getting a uh, train back to the airport, Copenhagen Airport, uh, and then I'll have about two hours, a couple of hours there uh, before my flight back to London Gatwick this evening. Um, I'll still join you when I go back to the airport. Copenhagen Airport. The time now is at 6.38. The flight to past 8.40, so we've got about two hours to spare. Go through security, relax, buy some more in the swells. Um, it's a love out here. I'll see where this is where it's come from. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go go through security, and then I'll join you back in London. I'll see you when I'm back in the UK. That's it, and my adventure is over. Welcome back to the UK. I'm currently at London Gateway, and do 15 minutes early uh, with easy chat here. Uh, so, all that's left for me to say is please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to get up to date with my latest videos. Um, that's all I have to say, and now, so until next time, good night. Now, I hope you enjoyed my uh, 24 hours in the Faroe Islands. Let's get into the figures and see how much in total this trip costed me. I must warn you that your figures are very high on this trip, so just be prepared for that. Denmark is an expensive country anyway, so the same applies to the Faroe Islands. Firstly, the return flight from London to Fagar, but through eDreams, costed me a total of £347.30, or in Danish kroner, that equates to 3,026.27. Food and drink whilst in the UK came to £25.23, or 21985 Danish kroner. The British Airways in-flight Wi-Fi charged me £6.99 or 60 91 Danish kroner. Food and drink whilst in Copenhagen, that's both times, came to a total of £32.45 or 282 90 Danish kroner. The total bus fares whilst in the Faroe Islands costed me £34.41 or 300 Danish kroner. The one night hotel stay came to £103.23 or 900 Danish kroner. Food and drink whilst in the Faroe Islands totaled up to £50.75 or 442.45 Danish kroner. The return train trip from Copenhagen Airport to the Central Station costed me £6.88 or 60 Danish kroner. And finally, the drink brought on board the EasyJet flight was priced at £2.90 or 25.28 Danish kroner.
So the grand total of this trip came to a ripping £610.14 or 5317.96 Danish kroner. Yes, I would classify this trip as an expensive trip. Considering it's Denmark, it is an expensive country anyway, so the same applies to Faroe Islands. However, Yes, uh, 600 and whatever pounds is quite expensive. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed seeing my 24 hours in Faroe Island and exploring Copenhagen. And I hope to see you in, in another video in the very near future. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button to stay up to date with some more of my videos. Until next time, good night.